Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video, we invite you to sit with us and discuss why we quit our six-figure full-income job to pursue our passion. About a year ago, we started this YouTube channel to share with you guys all the renovation and projects we were doing in our home. Little did we know, this was going to become our passion and we were going to turn this into a full-time career. I think it's important to talk about how we got here. In case this is your first time stumbling upon us, my name is Jesus and this is my wife Adriana. We have been together going on nine years now, out of which six we have been married. We got married at the ages of 17 and 19, and yes, she's the older one. <laughs> <laughs> Don't put me up last like that. <laughs> and a few years ago, we decided to relocate to Central Florida all on our own. The decision to move here was a big one, I feel like, for us because we started dating when he was 15, I was 17 years old, so pretty much like everything we've had, we've built together. I feel like moving here was the first big decision in our life that we've ever taken. The move here was solely based on the fact that we wanted a more tranquil life. And at the same time, we had big aspirations of one day being homeowner. We knew that where we lived at that time, there was no way that that was going to happen. So we decided to leave high paying jobs, leave our family and everybody we knew behind and moved to a whole new county and city all on our own. Yes, at that time, her brother lived here, so at least we had someone that we could count on, but apart from that, we were all on our own. A little bit about us, like we are huge family people. Pretty much, as you guys have seen most of our videos, is with my parents, and even though your parents still live in Miami, they come here a lot and visit us. So it was a huge change, and honestly, a big transition for us, but without sacrifices, where do you get in life, right? Jesus and I have been working in corporate jobs since we were 16 years of age. I think I got my first job the day after I turned 16 which I was legally approved to work and my first interview was on my birthday wow <laughs> that's true I remember we have both gotten very far I feel like in our career like we both are hardworking, and I believe that we're the type of people that we set our minds to get something and we work very very hard to get there and for the biggest time in our life we had these huge goals and aspirations to grow in these corporate jobs. We were in the best financial state. Sorry again because I was there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we were in the best financial state that we had been since beginning our careers. And sorry to interrupt you, but that that was huge for us. And that is huge for us because like we've said, you guys, like we started from nothing. When we got together, Jesus had no job. I was working as a part-time like Winn-Dixie employees. We were both living at our parents. We are not one of those couples that we had our own lives and kind of meshed. No, we built every single thing that we have to today together. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> so thinking about that, this decision was just another one that we felt was right. So we were working these corporate jobs and we felt like something was missing. We weren't happy. We found ourselves living from weekend to weekend, just aimlessly looking forward to working on projects and builds and working on our home and working on little tables. And that was what we found brought us true happiness. On the weekends, we literally spent every single moment from the moment we opened our eyes sometimes to like, the last minute where it was legal to make noise in our neighborhood working. And sometimes beyond that. So yeah. thank you to our neighbors for putting <laughs> up with us because we we were installing fences at midnight. We were uh, sanding countertops at 9 p.m. I mean, we put in a lot of time and it was just because we didn't see it as a job. No. We, we saw it as we were enjoying this. We were yeah. truly having a good time. A lot of the people we know and our friends would like tell us like, take a break, you know, you're always working, like stop working. And honestly to us, it just doesn't seem like work. I mean, obviously yeah. I, we're huge believers in taking breaks and listening to your body and not burning yourself out because we've done it a 
few too many times. We worked the standard eight to five and we would find ourselves coming home. And at that time, coming outside, start working on a project. <laughs> and it was just because we wanted this. We loved doing it. It was just our happy place. And I feel like this cycle went on for over a year. And it wasn't until this one day on Instagram that we saw this post that I believe said, use the weekend to build the life you want, not to escape the life you have. I mean, like I say that now and I have goosebumps because it's like, I feel like that's exactly what we've done. We have worked very, very hard this last year. This Instagram post was exactly what we set ourselves up to do. Yeah, the, the happiness and the fulfillment that we feel being covered in wood shavings and being all dirty. And, and I don't think my laundry is very no. grateful for that, but I am. Yeah, waking up and just turning on the machines and seeing the wood shavings everywhere. And, and sometimes when we're not working with wood, like the concrete and that happiness and fulfillment we, we, we feel is, is unmatched. And that's exactly what factored into this decision. You know, I'm the no person. You don't say. <laughs> <laughs> this is no shame to a person who works a corporate job. The whole point of this video is find a job that matches your core values and find a job that truly makes you happy. Corporate jobs weren't for us. And that is not saying that maybe one day we will have to get another corporate job in order to get to our dreams. But right now, it was time to follow something that actually made us happy. We love sharing our happiness and our story and our struggles and our mistakes with you guys and showing you guys the process of everything we do. Even showing our failures has been so exciting and so fun because to see ourselves growing throughout our videos and sharpening our skills and learning new stuff every week has been wow. Just like wow. <laughs> yeah, I remember the first project we did, we cut wood using an angle grinder, which yeah. I mean, yeah, don't guys. ever do that. That's <laughs> that's definitely not what it's used for. But at that time, that's all we had on hand. One of our first projects ever that we did when we bought our home, we got all of the wood cut at Home Depot and the guy cut it wrong. So we came here and we were cutting like an inch thick plywood with a pocket knife because oh that's, God, that's all right. that we had. Right. So I about you guys, that. we have come very far. This smile, nothing gives us this smile. No, <laughs> nothing except wood shavings in the morning. <laughs> With that being said, we decided that it was time to pursue our passion and start putting our energy and time into something that truly matters and resonates with us. Mm, yeah, <laughs> very scary. No, not really. No. Hell yeah. <laughs> I haven't felt this excited in a long, long time. This decision wasn't taken lightly whatsoever. This decision wasn't out of a burst of excitement. We have a plan. We have sat down for hours and hours and hours talking about our financials, planning ourselves. There's been a lot of conversation. A lot of late night crying, <laughs> go yeah. say. Even though I could personally say my corporate job brought me no happiness, it actually changed my life in ways that weren't the best. It's gotten us here and really is what has motivated both of us to pursue our dreams. And in order to build the life that we want, we have to take a chance on ourselves. And that's exactly what we're doing. Did little Jesus and Adriana ever think this was the career that they were going to pursue? No, no I, I don't to think teacher. so. <laughs> but hey, are we glad that it worked out the way it did? Yeah. yeah. Truly, this has been a roller coaster of emotions. <laughs> so, I have been going to the bathroom non-stop since we decided this. Sometimes we just sit there in silence when we're driving somewhere and we just look at each other and we're like, did this really just happen? Like to this day, I still think I'm going to wake up from a dream. Honestly, I mean, I'm going to say it rudely, but I just, I really don't care. Taking this decision has been truly i think our second biggest decision ever when we decided to move here we got so much negative feedback like so much negative feedback you guys are not gonna make it you guys are gonna move back how are you going to leave your parents alone what type of children are you we heard a little bit of everything and if we wouldn't have moved here like we wouldn't have anything that we have no. so yes i am ready for the feedback honestly i, I just... think we've heard it all already and it doesn't it doesn't stop us from pursuing our dreams one of my cousins once told me something when i was little and i think that's lived with me a lot and he told me he said i accept advice from everyone it is up to me if i decide to pursue it or not and that lives in my core ever since we care for everybody who worries about us and I, I try to focus it on that. I know that a lot of times negativity comes from 
a place of good and a place of love like, yeah of love exactly but it's not gonna stop us and we're ready we already did it so there's no going back the future yeah. everything we have planned scary <laughs> yes exciting yes so, overwhelming <laughs> yes well we are going to keep doing our weekly posts here on youtube and continuing to share every vi videos of everything we do along this journey apart from that we are excited to announce that we will start working on custom builds and custom furnitures for clients this is something that we've been wanting to do for quite some time now but with our full-time jobs unfortunately we couldn't get to it apart from building custom furniture we are also taking on remodeling services for our local neighborhood. So if you have a project that you are interested in doing, please feel free to reach out to us. We are more than happy to come out and help you out with that. If you guys know, we are huge believers that things can be done on your own. You do not need to hire people out for every single project that you're gonna do in your home. Yet, at the same time, we are aware that not everybody wants to be outside on their weekends, their only days off, sweating and covered in sawdust. Yeah, or <laughs> concrete or anything like that. So that is why we have decided that if we are not able to help those people by inspiring them to do things themselves, we want to be able to help them do it for them. We will also continue to build our presence here online. As Adriana mentioned, we are starting a blog where we will detail our projects and a little bit more about ourselves. And we will continue to grow our Spanish channel, which are basically our videos, but for our Spanish audience out there. <laughs> They're hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> they are very hilarious and we have a very fun time doing them. So if you are bilingual, we hope you enjoy those as well. Another exciting thing that we are planning on adding to our career is we will be opening a podcast channel and it is going to be related to a lot of our challenges in life and woodworking and building yeah we get a lot of questions on our comments about like how to get started or what tools to buy and those are all going to be topics that we're going to be touching and discussing on this podcast channel and since this is going to be our full-time job now we want to take the ones that want to join us along for our everyday adventures adventures yeah on a vlog but that will be most probably a separate channel not on here we are going to be keeping this channel exactly what it is now we are also excited to announce that we will be opening a contest over on our website make sure to check out our website below in the description for all the details for that but essentially what it is we will pick three winners out of all of the participants and build their dream furniture for the cost of simply the materials so in other words we will not charge any labor on those builds it will simply be the cost of the materials that we will need in order to build your dream furniture so make sure to check out our website and participate that coming up and with that what better way to end this video than simply saying thank, thank you. you my biggest thank you is to all of our followers who believe in us because if you're a subscriber you believe in us thank you for watching thank you for supporting us and thank you for believing in us without each and every one of you we wouldn't be where we are today a big part of giving back that we Sorry, go ahead give me throw a bug in the oreja <laughs> We want to be able to give back to you guys more. So we are um, partnering up with a few companies now in the future to work on some more giveaways, discount codes for you guys. And feel free with no embarrassment to leave us below how you feel that you will benefit the most. Yeah, from working with companies and what it is that is best for you. We also want to give a huge shout out to our family and friends who have been with us since day one, even before this YouTube channel existed. Always encouraging us, pushing us to our limits, I would say, to be better people, just be better human beings overall. So sincerely from the bottom of our hearts, thank you. And with that, I think an old chapter in our life ends and a, and new, a new one begins. We'll see you on the next week. Bye. Bye. I can't believe we just did that. I know.